Corporal Roger Rua joined the Marine Corps because he wanted to make a difference, better himself, and be a part of something big. He was serving with the security platoon in 2012 when the vehicle he was riding in drove over an explosive device in Afghanistan. Corporal Rua sustained fractures to his spine, femur, and traumatic brain injury. He was paralyzed from the neck down for about a month. After agonizingly trying every day, he finally moved his toe and started seeing progress. This motivated him. After four months of physical therapy, he was able to stand and eventually walk small distances. He credits the support and love he received from family and friends. In their current home, Roger and his wife Angela have tons of stairs. Right now he manages to climb them but often feels severe pain. The couple dream of one day having a family together and hope they can be in a home where Roger can easily move around. In December, Corporal Rua graduated with a bachelor's in national security. He still maintains his dream of wanting to help others and make a difference. Marine Corporal Garrett Carnes was on patrol with his fellow Marines in Afghanistan in 2012 when he stepped on an explosive device. He lost both his legs immediately. Corporal Carnes underwent more than 30 surgeries. During his recovery, he made it a goal to be walking on prosthetics by the time his fellow Marines returned home from their deployment. And he did it. After only six weeks of physical therapy, Corporal Carnes greeted his returning comrades standing on the tarmac. He credits his wife Courtney with pushing him through his recovery. Their former home in North Carolina was fully carpeted, the bathroom difficult to access, and very difficult for Carnes to move around and live life. In 2016, thanks to dozens of volunteers and your generous donations, Garrett and his wife Courtney received a brand new home where he can easily move around. Garrett says he has the joy and inspiration of a growing family, including two young sons, Chase and Easton. The couple continue to build a beautiful life together, and this home was the next big step. The story of Roseanne Stoya and her soon-to-be husband, Boston firefighter and veteran Mike Materia, is one of how a horrific and tragic event can turn into a magical love story. In 2013, Roseanne went to watch one of her friends finish the Boston Marathon like she had for years after going to the Red Sox game. Within minutes of arriving to Boylston Street, her life changed forever. She saw two flashes of white light and soon realized she's been hit, her right leg severely injured. True to form, Boston's finest firefighters, EMT and police officers jumped in to help. One of the firefighters was Materia. He even accompanied Roseanne to the hospital and returned the next day to see if she had survived. Soon a romance blossomed and the two started dating. In fact, Materia has been with her throughout her journey of recovery and even helped pick out a prosthetist. Last winter, the two announced their engagement. This year, brides across America gifted Roseanne with her wedding dress. The two plan to marry later this year. Incidentally, right before the Boston bombings in 2013, Roseanne made a vow to run Boston in 2014. Her injuries prevented this from happening. Four years after the horrific events in Boston and after unimaginable pain, perseverance and persistence, she continues to push herself and in so doing, she recently completed the Empire State Building run-up of 86 floors, benefiting challenged athletes and of course, Mike, right there by her side. States Marine Corps Staff Sergeant Brandon Dodson was wounded by an IED in Afghanistan in 2014. Dodson was in a combat patrol when a bomb detonated, taking off both his legs, fracturing his pelvis and causing other serious injuries. Dodson underwent over 30 surgeries, three a week. He spent 25 months in recovery. During that period, he got prosthetics, but when he returned home to his wife Jasmine and son Indiana, he said it was difficult to adjust to the two new legs that felt more like broomsticks with hinges. Still, he started working out and quickly got back into shape. Soon, he was off competing in races, including marathons. 
The list of accomplishments since his injury is remarkable. In mid-March of 2016, Brandon competed at Team Semper Fi Surf Camp. It was his fifth time surfing since his injury. He hand cycled Chicago, Detroit, and Marine Corps marathons in 15 days. In June of last year, he won five medals, including a gold medal for his 50-yard breaststroke at the Department of Defense Warrior Games in West Point, New York. For Dotson, these races are just for recreational purposes. He says he's not out to win, just loves to get out there and have fun. His wife Jasmine and son Indiana always by his side. Dotson says his biggest challenge is interacting and navigating the world. Plus, being on prosthetics all day can be extremely tiring and he often gets sore. He says a new wheelchair, thanks to Snyder Electric, will help him push new boundaries and overcome bigger challenges. Dotson finished his second Boston Marathon with a hand cycle on Monday. Next year, he hopes to come back and compete with his brand new custom-made chair.